Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I had just finished recording a video for an upcoming Starscream for the year, and then all of a sudden they revealed another upcoming Starscream for the year. Someone has just found this photo and posted it. It seems to be the Transformers Legacy United Voyager Class Cybertron Starscream. There's a lot of Cybertron characters. I mean, we got the Metroplex, we had the Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime, as well as various other characters, and apparently we're going to get the Vector Prime as well as the Hotshot later down the road. But uh, this is the last one of Legacy United Wave 2 that we did not see. So we've seen the Sandstorm, we've seen all the Deluxes, and we knew about Silver Bolts for, you know, quite a while. So I don't know if this is going to be revealed in the first week with all the Hasbro streams. I think it's probably going to be the second or third week. But here we go. This is Starscream. And uh, yeah, he's definitely influenced by his Cybertron design. It doesn't seem to take any sculpting of any previous toy, so this just purely seems to be molded for the Starscream. I would like to see some sort of redeco down the line because I know that some of the Legends class versions of Starscream was repainted into, I think it was Ramjet, Thrust, and I think maybe Skywarp. So that would be cool, but if we're just getting the Starscream, that makes a lot of sense because Starscream was his own design in the Transformers Cybertron show. I'm just saying it would be kind of cool. But anyways, I love the design in particular. This was actually the first Starscream that I really got into when I was getting into Transformers, when I was trying to rope myself into it. And uh, I remember seeing the Supreme Class Starscream toy. I'm kind of hoping that we get a Commander Class down the road, uh, you know, something the size of Jetfire. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about this. So, a lot of the colors kind of feel dull. I mean, it's got this dark gray, then the dark blue. The main thing that's really popping is the red. But that's something that's similar to his original design, so that's not really a complaint. I'm just pointing out that the colors aren't as bright and vibrant, but that's fine. Uh, you can also see that the weapons will be able to store on the back. Those are the switchblade weapons that come out. Uh, the original toy had a cyber key gimmick where you put the sub key in and then they had the flip out blasters and blades. So it just seems like you'll plug them in. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm not going to complain. I know some people won't like that, but it's whatever. It's the typical thing for generations. The main focus for these toys is the articulation, and there's a lot going. You can see the wrist will be able to turn. You can see the waist, despite the fact that the nose cone is right there, will be able to turn. I imagine that's not going to be the actual nose cone for the jet mode itself. That's kind of like a fake piece, but still. And I can kind of see the toes has the little points inside them that fold in, much like the original toy, so I could definitely see the similarities between this and the original Starscream. I especially love how the torso is built up, how the shoulders are made, and it seems like the side pods where the wings are attached will be able to pop off. They look like they're attached by 5mm ports, so you could take those off if you want, just a nice clean Starscream, or you could do whatever with those pods, and obviously it's got the blasters at the front there, much like the Null Race, but yeah, I, I like the deco, I like the shape, I think it's pretty good. You could also see that he's got the nipple blasters that fold up beside the cockpit, so, you know, that's something that I actually used in the film, or in the film, in the show. So, uh, yeah, I think that this is a good look, and it is something that I'm really excited for. I think out of this and Silverbolt, I think I have to get Silverbolt first, because he's kind of a priority for me. But Starscream, yeah, I, I think I need this one. So with that out of the way, I think you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudes, and I will see you guys next time. All Spark TV, now that's just Prime.